Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be a review video. And this is going to be a review of the Smashbox Primer Oil. Um, I did receive this little sample here in a Sephora order. And I'm going to show you how much of it I have used. About a quarter of the bottle, I think. Probably about a quarter of it I have used. And I have some definitive thoughts on it. But first of all, I want to give you some overall general information that was available on the um, Sephora website. Um, first of all, to purchase it, it's going to be a one ounce size and it's going to be $42. So that's, that's about average price for a primer at Sephora. I know the, um, what is that Mineral Veil primer? That's a one ounce. I think it's a one ounce. It's like 50 something dollars or $50. So anyway, um, one ounce for $42. Um, it is infused with a blend of 15 essential and lipid-rich plant oils. So it's going to have some definitely good skincare benefits to using it as a primer because it has those essential oils in them. And we all know that oils are really good for our skin, especially for hydrating mature skin like I have. Um, if you don't know, I am 47 and I do have dry skin with a lot of sun damage and wrinkles and crevices and lines and I need all the help with moisturization that I can get to help with um, making sure that my face just looks dewy and fresh and as youth youthful as what I can get it. Um, also with this product, it's very important to not use a whole lot. It just takes just a few drops and they're very specific with that in the directions on how to use it. So make sure that if you get this or you get a sample of it, to follow the directions very closely because if you use too much, like I did the first few times that I used it, you will not like it. You will not like it at all because your foundation and your whole face is pretty much going to just slide completely off. Um, so it's very important to use use a couple little drops. doesn't take very much. That's why this little bottle here I haven't used a whole lot. Once I figured out the first couple times I was using way too much, went to just using a few drops of it works a whole lot better a whole lot better when you um, follow the directions with that um, this is a little bit of a unique product in that it works in two ways to prep the skin for your foundation um, first of all it sits on top of the skin to smooth the texture of your skin and just create a smooth surface for you to start applying your um, foundation, your cosmetics to your face too. Also while it's sitting there on top of your skin it's almost like the product has like two layers to it. One layer is sitting on top of your skin while the other layer is penetrating into your skin to moisturize and hydrate the skin which is very important for us ladies who are in our plus years to make sure that we're doing as much hydration as we can to our faces and creating a nice hydrated canvas for our foundation to go on to because anytime that you start getting dry and cakey looking everything starts kind of just shriveling up and just looks it looks really bad I mean compare it to a grape you know a grape is nice and plump and smooth where a raisin is all dried up and you know you can definitely tell your know, grape is, looks a whole lot better than a raisin does um, it does not have any silicone in it so if you are someone like myself who does not like silicone in your primer you would definitely like this I feel like that this I may not like in the summertime just for the fact that it does have a lot of hydration to it which obviously it's going to do because it has an oil um, also if you or someone like myself who in your um, skincare regime you incorporate an oil into your skincare regime of the morning you probably want to leave that step of your skin regime out 
um, because again the first few times I used it I used my oil that I use on my face of the morning time came in here to my makeup room put this on like I would a oil that I'm using to moisturize my face and it was just it was not good because I had to wait I kept waiting and waiting waiting trying to put my foundation on and it just kept sliding off I mean even as I was putting it on it was just sliding off go to put my powder on was sliding off because I just had way too much oil so again it's very important that you're following the directions with this also I would make sure that when you put that on that you let it sit for a good three four minutes and I know with our busy lives three or four minutes can seem like a lifetime that you're sitting and waiting for a product to prep your skin and get to the point that you can start working with it and for that reason I would definitely I would take you know, if I was given this a five star rating I would take a star or a half a star off of it just for that fat because I want to be able to put it on and then go right into putting on my makeup which this you cannot so what I had to start doing was I've always um, been putting my eye makeup on first and then I would put my primer on my face and then start with my foundation with this product I had to put my put this on first then start doing my eye makeup and then by the time I got my eye makeup done this was just about ready for me to uh, put my foundation on so that's just something to keep in mind with that also um, you want to um, like I said I think I said it had no silicones you want to make sure you use just a few drops I can't iterate that enough because I the first few times I used it I didn't like it because I, I mean my face by and then by the end of the day my my makeup was completely gone and I never have that problem um, but once I started using it correctly it was fine um, it also has a really good um, finish to it uh, and I think that's because you know it's moisturizing your skin so it's really helping to plump up the skin because you're adding so much hydration before you put your foundation on so it's making your skin look really pretty with that aspect am I going to buy it um, that is a big question no, not at this time because I have primers that I need to use. Um, I would more than likely, though, this next coming winter, I'm going to finish this up this winter, which here in the part of Oklahoma that I'm at, we're, we're done with winter. I've been, last, this past three or four days, I've been wearing my flip-flops and short sleeves and my little boyfriend jeans, you know, it, it's been nice. Very nice. We haven't had to be running the heat anyway. But I'm going to finish using this up because I don't want it to go bad. But I do think next winter when it starts getting, you know, the dry and we're running the heat and, you know, the cold, I'm going to go back to this primer just for the fact that I like it because of the hydration properties of it. Did I feel that it made my cosmetics last any longer? I felt that it worked just as good as a primer as any other primers that I have tried. Um, I don't think that I've tried any primer that I haven't liked other than primers that have silicone in them because I don't like the way silicone feels on my face. If it doesn't have silicone on it, me and the primer get along just fine. And like I said, again, if you have mature skin, you definitely want to look into the a primer that has moisturization properties to it doesn't necessarily have to be this one it could be um, like maybe the Laura Mercier um, primer that's for um, that's hydrating um, I think um, Makeup Forever has primers that's for hydration anyway that's a whole different a whole different topic there we're talking about this right here um, go to Sephora get you a sample of it but make sure that you just use a few drops give it a try and see what you think anyway thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this review if you would like to see more reviews on this channel give me a thumbs up and we'll talk to you soon